Hello everyone and welcome back to Yankee Dabble where every day is a train show. My name is DJ and I hope we're all getting excited for the holiday season. I know I got my boxcar advent calendar going. Or I maybe just bought 25 boxcars. Either, uh, or I'm very excited to show you some of the new projects that are products ready that we have here in our store that hopefully will find their way on your layout. And we're going to get started with some motive power from Bachman. And we got these FT diesel locomotives that we're going to take a look at here. So why don't we pan down here and see some of these diesel locomotives that we have. Now the FT diesels were actually really the first mainline diesel engine that they had out there. Uh, I think it said uh, 1939 is when these engines started to come into existence, and these are really cool representation of that design. Now, as you can see, I had the New York Central, I got the Western Pacific, I got one of my favorite paint schemes, the Lackawanna, and of course, one of the most famous paint schemes of all time is the Santa Fe War Bonnet colors there. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking, okay, they're Bachman, they're not necessarily the highest quality, as some of the other manufacturers that we take a look at, and that's true. But the neat thing about Bachman is that they're a great starter engine for anyone that's looking to get started with DCC. They are a fantastic value. And to tell you the truth, if you take a look at something like that, look, capacitor, light's still on. If you take a look at something like that, it's still a really nice looking diesel locomotive there. I have nice detailing there, and you can tell by the molding that Bachman did do the time to put the design and the detail into these engines that you would expect from some of the other manufacturers. Now these diesel locomotives retail for $299.99, but we're selling them here for $179.99. That's a tremendous deal to get, especially for those of you who are looking to get started with DCC, want a diesel locomotive that has sound, this is the way to go. I think you're really gonna enjoy these engines, but you know, you don't wanna hear me talk about it. Let's hear what they actually sound like and see if that changes your mind. We're gonna start off these engines. They actually have TCS sound, so check them out. Here we go. Alrighty, let's hear what the horn sounds like. The bell. And away we go. So that's a really nice sounding diesel locomotive. And again, for the value that you're getting, again, $179.99. These are great engines to have. I have a bunch of different paint schemes. I mean, this is this really this is the way to go, especially if you're a beginner. Or even if you're a, a well-advanced modelist and you want to get some uh, new designs here, maybe some of these fit the bill. So check these out at yankeedabbler.com and get these pulling trains on your layout today. I know some of us are always looking for some new rolling stack items to pull. Give me more trains! Okay. Well, anyway, we have some new, brand new uh, box cars that we're going to take a look at. And why don't we go to track number one? And aren't they a uh, beauty, folks? Check out these guys here. Ooh, I got some really neat looking one names right here. These are 50 foot smooth side box cars and these are really nice looking cars i have some of my favorite designs here if we take a look again at the track here we got the state of Maine, which is one of my favorite box cars of all time i just love the red white and blue colors there i got the delaware and hudson i got the pennsylvania railroad i think some of you might have heard of that before we got the southern that's a really cool looking car car and finally i got the rio grande now these are from 
uh, Atherin. This is part of the Roundhouse line. And these are this tremendously nice looking cars here. As you can see, I do have metal wheels there. I mean, this is a really cool looking box here. I think everyone needs one, two, or 55 of these on their layout today. And so these particular box cars are retailing for $30.98. We're selling them for $24.99. This is a great deal to get on these cars here. I think they're really nice looking. Everyone needs a box car, and I think these might fit the bill here. As a matter of fact, we actually have a charity that uh, we are actually trying to help this holiday season. This is the Box Cars for Engineer Hall. What? This is a charity? Eh, help the layout. I, I'm not reading the rest of that. Anywho. But if you want some of these box cars on these layout, come at Yankee Dabbler and check these out because I really think you're going to like them. So those box cars look great, and I think you're probably thinking, I need another diesel locomotive that FT didn't cut it for me. Well, why don't we check out these RS units that we just got. Check out these guys. These are, again, another Bachman locomotive, but these are the RS3s. And I pretty much think that everybody that is in the trains know what the RS3 is. I had the New Haven there. I got the Santa Fe in the blue and yellow paint scheme. I got the Rio Grande. I got a really nice looking Boston to Maine. I like that blue color. And uh, once again, that Pennsylvania Railroad. I think some of us might have heard this before. Now these diesel locomotives, even though again, they're a Bachman engine, these are a great introductory uh, locomotive to have on your layout. And again, if you're getting started with DCC, if you're getting started with um, just a hobby in general, and you're looking for a nice looking locomotive that's not gonna break your uh, budget, I think these engines are what you're gonna be looking for here. Now these engines retail, get this, these engines go for $349.99. We're selling them here for $219.99. I mean, right there. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. This with the value that you're getting, especially the deal that we're having on these engines, I think you're really going to like these. Once again, another early style diesel locomotive. So if you're modeling, say, the 19, late 1930s, early 1940s, 50s, I think this is a diesel engine that you're going to want on your layout. Now, again, these have TCS sound, so just like the FT units that we take a, took a look at, we're going to see what these sound like, and hopefully, they'll find their way on your layout. I got that Boston and Maine on the track simply because I like the colors, so let's check it out. All right, let's see what this horn sounds like. Ooh, I like that horn. Belt? I like that bell too. Let's go. So that's actually a really neat sounding diesel locomotive and if anyone's ever seen these so some of these engines do still run on tourist railroads today that's pretty much what they sound like they always sound like they're just about to die out on you because they're trying they're trying so hard so these diesel locomotives again we're selling them here for 219.99 it's a great deal to get on these engines i think you really gotta like them and of course if you're a fan of you know, just uh, the early style diesel locomotives, the RS units, I really think you're going to like these. So come to Yankee Dabbler and check these guys out. I have another charity here. This is actually a legit one. It's tank cars for Engineer Hall. Come on, man. What are you doing here? Hey, I got to build my fleet up. Come Jeez. on. Jeez. All right. Sorry, folks. Anywho, so we have some N scale cars that we're going to take a look at right now from Athern. And these are some Prime for Grime. And I got to get the exact name right. We're going to get the 50 foot FMC exterior post combination door boxcar need a breath after that one check out these bad boys here as you can see these are the prime for grind so they looked weathered but these are really cool looking cars here as you can see i have three different variations here at the rail box as you can see these are all patched up because they have had a long life on the railroad 
and I think these are really just neat looking cars. If you want to model something that looks like what you see on the road today, I think these are the cars you want to get. Now, we actually showed the HO version of these cars not too long ago, so of course these are the, uh, the N scale version. But as you can just take a look at, I love just the patchwork that you have here, obviously, I like it with the labels of changing. And of course, the logo's faded out because it's been in the sun for a long time. I mean, a lot of us are going for realism nowadays, and I think these are a great addition to those people that are doing these in end scale. Now, these cars are retailing for $26.98. We're selling them here at a Yankee Dabbler for $21.99. I have uh, a couple of different numbers here, so if you want to get a couple of them, put them on your train, uh, on your, uh, yeah, on your railroad. I think you're really going to enjoy these. So check them out at yankeedabbler.com and get them riding on your rails today. So I know some of you might be thinking, all right, I've seen enough diesels today. All right, well, the peanut gallery wants to see more, so we're going to show you some more. So check out these brand new Atherin diesel locomotives here. And I have a couple different variations. This is the Norfolk Southern Dash 9 40C. And this is a great looking engine here. As you can see, this one actually has ditch lights on the front and the rear of the locomotive here. So that is a really neat looking design there. Then I have the Dash 944CW, and I have here the Chicago and Northwestern. I think that's a really cool looking paint scheme there. And of course, the Union Pacific, which is one of the most famous paint schemes ever done. And then I have here the Dash 944CWL. Hope you're all paying attention. There's a quiz later. And this is the BC Rail, and this is a really cool looking diesel locomotive here. Does have ditch lights on the front. Uh, I like the little bell that's in the front there as well. These engines just have a tremendous amount of detail there. If I could direct you over here, I, look, I have the brake chains that are happening there next to the brake wheel. I love just the design of all these different locomotives with the various different decals and detailings that go in here. Of course, the Union Pacific has a little logo right there happening there. I mean, this these engines are so well done and Ath uh, Atherin does a tremendous job to get these engines uh, looking the best that they can so they can be on your railroad and look like the real thing. Now, these engines retail for $349.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $288.98. Now, as you can see, we got a higher quality engine here, so of course the price goes up, but you get what you pay for, and I think these are going to sound great, so let's check them out. So these engines have Tsunami 2 sound, and we're going to hear what that sounds like right now, so check out the BC Rail. As you can see there, I have multiple ditch lights on there. That is really cool. I also have the classification lights. Here's what the horn sounds like. Ooh, that's a beefy sound there. I got the bell. And away we go. But I'll let the engine tell you. Sweet. All right, so I really like this engine. You know what? I think I changed my advent calendar to do 25 diesels. I could get pricey. Anywho, as I said, that these engines retail for $339.99. We're selling them for $288.98. I really like these engines. I think you're really going to enjoy them. Dash 8s are such a, oh, I'm sorry, Dash 9s rather, are such a great engine to have. So come to Yankee Dabbler and check these guys out. Some of them, I only have a couple of different uh, road names available. So if you want them, act quick because they're not going to be here for long. So we got some uh, one more item that we're going to have to be taking a look at right here. What's this? Is this a legit charity? Yes, it goes to a great cause. Flat cars for Engineer Hall? How is that a great cause? It's going to the layout. Anywho, 
we have these Walther tracks, which is that we're going to be taking a look at here. And these are really cool looking designs here. As you can see, I have these wide angle curved switches here. I have a couple of different variations. Pick a switch, any switch, any switch at all. All right, as you can see here, I have a couple of different variations here. I got the number fours, fives. I got a whole bunch of them. So I'm not going to bore you with a whole bunch of prices, but I'm letting you know that we have these available at Yankee Dabbler. So if you're looking for these on your layout, check our website at yankeedabbler.com and get them switching trains on your layout today. I want to thank you very much for tuning into our show. Everything that you saw today can be found on our website, yankeedabbler.com. And don't hesitate because a lot of these items are going really fast. Yup. See? All right, so thank you very much for tuning in. If you're not already subscribed to Engineer Hall, I don't know what you're waiting for. Click the subscribe button to be caught up on all the newest uh, videos that we have coming out, or maybe even some of the old ones that you might have missed, and uh, get caught up on all the latest uh, updates on this layout, all the Railfan videos you do. It's a fun time that we have here. We got a couple uh, of our, we got our Christmas show that's going to be coming up, so I hope you guys are excited to stay tuned for that. Maybe we'll be taking a ride on the Polar Express. Hope you have your tickets and hot chocolate ready. We're going to conclude this week's video with a rail fan uh, video of the New Jersey Central 113.060 steam engine pulling one of the Santa trains in Minersville, Pennsylvania. Take care, everyone. And as you excuse me, I got to start my Evan calendar. Diesel time. It's got to get pricey. Hey, say something for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah.